Hello everybody. Now, I don't know how many of you actually follow what goes on in the feeder series and, and I guess sort of in the lower categories of, of, of Formula One, but recently something very, very exciting and something about as rare as a Nico Hülkenberg podium happened. Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team decided to sign a new junior and his name is Frederick Vesti. Now you may ask me, who is Frederick Vesti? But worry no more, friends, watchers, subscribers. I am here to tell you more about the newest Mercedes Junior and why I think he might be the best choice for Mercedes and most importantly, why I think he might be your new Frederick Bestie. I just want to start, I guess, before we go get into the video, I just want to start and say thank you so much to everybody that has supported this channel. Uh, in the new year, I've had really, really great um, interactions with you guys. Uh, thank you so much as well to, to Sim Dane who shared one of my songs recently. So today's video obviously isn't a song. Um, that's going to be something I'll upload sort of sporadically, probably once every two weeks, interspersed with my, my normal content. But yeah, I just want to say thank you so much everybody um, for helping me so far in 2021. 2021 has definitely been one of main character energy as you know my good friend Beth from the Beth One channel would say so yeah thank you so much everybody for the support and as always please if you like this video if you like some of my other videos leave a like leave a comment and hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you're notified whenever I make an upload right so back to Fred and let's maybe first take a look back at his career in the feeder series so far so he started his single-seater career in uh, Danish Formula Ford, where he participated in 2016. The year after that, he moved to Danish Formula 4, where he came second. And in 2018, he then moved to German Formula 4, which is sort of like, you know, it's one of the top tier F4 categories alongside, I guess, Italian Formula 4. Now there, he came fourth in his rookie year behind people like Liram Zendeli, Liam Lawson and Enzo Fittipaldi. In 2019, he was signed to Prema, who is probably, you know, the most successful feeder series team of all. And he participated in the Formula Regional Championship alongside his teammate Enzo Fittipaldi. And he dominated the championship, winning the championship and winning 13 races on, the, you know, on the road to, to that victory. So that was a really, really impressive season and probably the season where he announced himself. That then meant that last year, 2020, he again stayed with Prema alongside teammates Oscar Piastri and Logan Sargent, where he participated in the Formula 3 Championship. Now, Fred came fourth in that championship, despite winning three feature races, which is the most among any of the participants. He actually won the most feature races out of everybody. And I guess what really got to him here was the fact that he got, uh, he had really bad luck Sort of during the middle part of the season specifically thinking about hungary and, and barcelona and so on where his teammates scored really well relative to fred but especially in the second third of the or the final third of the season fred was probably the strongest driver in formula 3 overall so what's next for fred well he is going to launch a second assault on the f3 title this time with art who is another top team in feeder series and i really do think this is going to be a big opportunity for him to frederick impresti the next thing I want to talk about is, I guess, why did Fred decide to go with Mercedes? Because Fred was one of, I guess, very, very few top juniors that up until a couple of weeks ago wasn't signed to a Formula One team's driver development program. Think, you know, the Ferrari Drivers Academy, the Renault Junior Program, the Red Bull Junior Program, and in his case, the Mercedes Junior Program. And it's quite interesting Firstly, that he decided to hold out for so long that he effectively drove as an independent, but that allegedly Helmut Marko approached him a while back and asked whether he wanted to be part of the Red Bull Junior Academy. And Fred told Helmut a big fat no, which in itself I, I respect. You know, telling Helmut Marko no is a, is a sign of strength and I respect that. So good on you, good on you, Fred. But I think the interesting thing for Fred, and I guess looking at how Mercedes operates its junior academy is, firstly, Mercedes has a 100% track record of getting its juniors into Formula One. Think uh, Pascal Verlein, Esteban Ocon, and most recently, 
George Russell. So Fred is only gonna be the fourth proper junior that Mercedes is gonna to attempt to get into F1. And if you look at their track record, they're probably the best team to be a part of. So in short, I guess for Fred, being part of the Mercedes junior program means that he is Frederick Blesti. Let's now flip the coin and look from Mercedes' perspective and ask ourselves why Frederick Besti? Well, what we've seen from Fred so far in his career is he seems to be a very cerebral racer, not overly fiery or tempestuous. He's very consistent and maybe not as flamboyant as a driver as some of his counterparts, but very consistent, very cerebral, very stable, which if you look at sort of the history of the type of drivers that Mercedes like to sign, it's very sort of much in their wheelhouse. But I think, again, given the track record that Mercedes has, this also places a lot of pressure on Fred and he is definitely going to be put to the Frederick Testy. Right, so the last question we need to ask is, will Vesti ever drive for Mercedes? And I guess here the answer is, it depends, because he's going to have to perform well in Formula 3 this year, which means that he'll hopefully move up to Formula 2 next year, where he's going to have to perform well as well. And I don't know if you've seen pictures of, of Fred, but he's quite skinny, so he might have to hit the Frederick Bench Presti. But at the end of the day, I think he's quite well placed to eventually make a step up into Formula 1 if the results go his way. Because if you think about Hamilton and Bottas, they're not going to be here forever. In fact, they're probably not going to be here for that long anymore, which means that around 2023, 2024, he's going to be very well placed to move up into F1. Who knows, in 2025, we might have a George Russell, a Fred Bestie, Mercedes lineup, and honestly, what more can we ever want? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Okay, that is my views on the new Mercedes Junior Frederick Bestie. Maybe let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think he can make the step up into Formula 1? Do you think Mercedes made the right decision to sign him to their junior program given that they almost never do it? Do you think he can one day drive for Mercedes alongside somebody like George Russell or if Beth gets her wish, <laughs> Pierre Gasly? I don't know. You tell me. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for joining in. Look out next week. There's probably going to be another song on the YouTube channel. So look out for that. Uh, really, again, thank you so much for the support and I'll see you next week.